How's it going guys? I'm Jack and welcome back to Good Company. The game has just been updated to 0.7, the work smart update and it's come with a bunch of new stuff and of course some new conveyor belt sections. So I thought I'd experiment a little with them, see what we can do and I've come up with some tips that will hopefully help you guys out and get, uh, get the most out of these new sections. So I've built this over complicated, horribly inefficient, almost a Rube Goldberg machine uh, that incorporates all the tips that I've come up with um, and it just makes conveyor belts. Uh, but we'll come back to this later, we'll go through each section uh, towards the end of the video. Uh, but I'm going to be going through some not so obvious things that are really simple but are useful to know. And also I've come up with a way of making um, like a makeshift filtering and combination system that hopefully will be very useful. Uh, before we start though, if you do enjoy city building simulation and management games, be sure to subscribe. And also if this video does help you, then I would appreciate if you hit that like button. Let's get into it. First off, we're going to take a look at some really simple tips. These are not really obvious though when you start using the conveyor belt sections. So I've set up this little circuit just to demonstrate each tip individually and we'll start off over at the pallet. So you can connect the storage and the retrieval segments directly to the pallet. Uh, the way they're designed, they kind of look like they can only be used on shelves, but uh, no, you can use them on the pallets as well. I'm imagining moving massive amounts of material directly from the pallet without the need for logistics employees. Uh, and also storing final products on there directly from an assembly area. Uh, so a couple of ideas there to use that. Uh, as we follow it around, we come to the overhead section. Now, I just want to say they've done such a good job with these overheads, uh, overhead sections. The design is actually spot on. It's brilliant. Uh, but they are normally used for people to walk under. However, you can actually put conveyor belts under them as well. So that's going to make uh, laying out the conveyor belts a lot easier uh, to know you can actually put them underneath the overhead sections. Uh, so following it around a little bit more, we're going outside and what's this? We've got a shelf outside. How crazy is that? So before you couldn't put shelves outside, but now, uh, now you can. Now I'm imagining some sort of outdoor storage area just to save space inside your work zones. Uh, giving you more space for tables. Um, I've got an idea for this. I'll show you a bit later on in the video my idea. Uh, but for now, shelves outside. Game changer, mate. <laughs> the next thing, uh, we've actually got hatches in the wall now for conveyor belts. So again, you can snake uh, conveyor belts through walls of buildings now at certain points. Again, making layouts much easier. Next, uh, this one's a little bit hard to see, but I've got an overhead section right next to an automatic storage segment. Uh, so basically this is demonstrating, you don't have to have a short bit of conveyor belt between sections. You can place some directly next to each other and it will still work. Now it's a few caveats, uh, some sections can't go together. It's just about experimenting to find which ones do work together um, and how useful they are together. Uh, so something like this is very useful. Uh, again, this, layouts make it a little bit easier to lay out uh, your conveyor belts um, over this section as well the segment uh, the retrieval segments and the storage segments don't have to be on the front of the shelf they can be on the back like that storage segment or on the side uh, it doesn't matter the workers have to obviously get stuff from the front of the shelf but the uh, conveyor belt parts you are useful uh, anywhere along the shelf basically so that's really good to know as well um, so the last thing and I thought this was quite funny as well the um, the uh, storage segments can actually put directly into a bin as well <laughs> so I don't know if there's any use for this I mean like let me know in the comments if you can think of a reason why you want to do this but I thought it was quite funny <laughs> so that is uh, the quick tips now we're gonna move on to the good stuff okay so now I think these are the best tips in the video here we're gonna be building a filter and this is gonna let you sort materials modules and components um, from a single conveyor belt onto different shelves now I'm guessing a conveyor belt section like this will exist at some point in the game however I'm going to just whack a few things together um, and well this is how it works basically um, it's a bit janky but what would you expect from the Jackmus, uh, the Jackmus Games channel <laughs> so uh, we're going to start off with basically we're going to be 
ordering in metal, plastic and chemicals and then sorting them into three different shelves. So what we're going to start with is a small shelving rack and we're going to whack that down there. Um, so the material is going to come down this conveyor belt here and uh, get split up through this shelf onto three different shelves. So we'll whack these shelves. Well, we'll do those shelves in a second. Uh, so we're going to go to logistics and we're going to take the automatic storage segment, put that like that. And then we're going to take some automatic retrieval segments and place them on each side just like that. Uh, now we're going to set each of these to a different material. So we'll set this one to chemicals, put that all the way up to 50. This one is going to be metal, put this all the way up to 50 as well. This one as well, put this uh, to plastic. I think plastic was the last one, wasn't it? What was that one? Metal, plastic, yeah. So that's the initial layout. We now got to connect these up to some shelves. So we'll just, um, put a conveyor belt down like that. We'll put one like that as well. And then Jack, Jack, get out of the way. Always in the way, mate. Uh, so that one's going to that one. I'm literally talking to myself now. Um, right, so we're going to take uh, some more storage segments there there and there obviously this end bit could be anywhere like anything you want but we're just gonna do three shelves for now uh, so let's set this off by ordering material in and hopefully this should all work so this is gonna take plastic chemicals metal and it should split it off into their different places yeah there we go so that is that is like a basic filtering mechanism. You can use a bigger shelf to get more um, filtering slots, I, I guess. Uh, so you can just fit as many of these retrieval segments on. Uh, but this is like a, a basic way of filtering stuff. Now, like I said, it doesn't have to go directly to shelves. This one could go like all the way over here to like a chemical factory. Um, this could go to like the metal workshop and everything like that. So uh let me again let me know in the comments if you come up with any good stuff for, for using that but that is a really good way of um using the sec the sections that we've got in and making something like different out of them uh, the next thing we're going to do is actually combine each of <laughs> combine each of these as well so the next thing we're going to be building is the opposite to this filter thing we're going to take each of these inputs and combine them into a single output uh, useful for well not wasting conveyor belt parts sending three conveyor belts all over to the same section uh, so we'll do that now we're just gonna whack down a shelf again if you want to add more uh, combination slots um, then use a bigger shelf uh, but we'll put that there we'll connect the automatic storage section there uh, we'll put one on there and one on there uh, let's get some conveyor belts going as well. One there. I haven't left. I, I haven't left myself enough room for this, uh, so it's all a bit squished up. But it's okay at the moment. Uh, then we're going to do an automatic retrieval section there, and the conveyor belt. We shall snake out out this door over here, and we'll just get a big shelving rack for now. Uh, so we'll put that like that. Uh, so this one is better to set this one first because it can really mess things up. So we've got uh, chemicals, metal and plastic. So let's go into here. We'll add, add chemicals all the way. Then we want to add another one. Uh, metal all the way up and then plastic as well. Uh, we'll, do, we'll do that and then we're going to pause it as well just so we can get these all set up at the same time. This is going to retrieve the chemicals. Uh, put that all the way up this one is going to retrieve the metal again put it all the way up and this one is going to retrieve the plastic so there we go now this uh, will combine all of them into a single uh, conveyor belt being able to, uh, well letting you send all the materials over to a different section of the factory now i've done a real schoolboy error here i didn't put a uh, <laughs> i didn't put a storage uh, an automatic storage segment there so we'll just whack that uh, down the right way around turn it around like that amazing and there we go uh, so that's uh, combination so filtration combination machine 
Um, very useful, I think. Again, I can't wait to see what people uh, can do with this uh, because this, I feel like these sections, I said before, are going to end up in the game at some point. Uh, so, oh my, oh my days, it's filled up already. Uh, so yeah, there we go. That's um, filtration and combination. So next we're going to look at that huge contraption thing, ab abomination that we uh, saw at the start. And we're going to start with that at the end of it. Uh, so this is a storage warehouse that I came up with. And this is the thing I, I think we could actually do outside. So a huge storage area like this. Basically, I've got a automatic retrieval segment and um, an automatic storage segment facing each other uh, connected to some big shelves. Now, this means when a product comes down here, it gets moved along all the show, like all the way through the shelves um, and gets stored. And this gives you massive storage. So when this shelf fills up, um, stuff will start getting stored on this shelf. And when this fills up, this uh, will start using this one and so on. And you can connect as many of these as you want. Now, I don't know why you'd ever want to store this much stuff, but um, I'm sure it's going to be useful at some point. Uh, and like I said, this could easily be done outside. And then when you want to um, get stuff back inside, you could literally move, you could literally just move one shelf inside and use that. Um, or you could connect a conveyor belt to it and just have one shelf inside, which is one uh, that the workers pick from. Uh, so that's like a storage section idea that I came up with. Uh, but let's have a look at this machine. Now, this actually just makes conveyor belts. I thought it would just be fun, like just to get a, like a mess of things uh, going all over the factory and, and stuff. It's horribly inefficient, like I said, uh, but it's, it's pretty interesting to look at. So uh, we're starting here. We've got the pallet and we've got uh, plastic being taken out this way. Now this goes down here underneath this uh, overhead section, it goes over this section. <laughs> does like a little U-bend over onto this big long overhead section uh, just like that gets transported outside again over another overhead section and gets stored on this shelf here uh, so that's the plastic um, and for conveyor belts we need metal uh, we need metal rods and uh, gears as well so this here takes metal from the pallet it splits it into two now here this one takes a big stack of 50 out and here it splits it off equally so it takes 25 on one side and 25 on the other um with these numbers um here it's a it's a little bit of experimentation to get it working and not backing up and it can be quite difficult uh, so just keep going with it um but it, it can take a while and can get backed up a little bit, uh, just like this. However, this is fine because these are only using metal. Uh, so here we go, the rods get, well, this metal gets made into rods and this gets made into gears. These go down over here and get combined onto this shelf here. Uh, so you've got rods and gears here. They get taken off and put down this conveyor belt here, which then goes over this section then under this section and then back over this section and around this corner and then again over this section into this building and stored on this shelf as well. Now that's the good um, thing about the combiner because otherwise we'd have had to have two different conveyor belts taking each product but now we can just use one conveyor belt to um, transport both, uh, both, com uh, both components to the shelf. Now this one We've got like another splitter, uh, like another filter, and we've got three automatic retrieval segments on this side. Again, pretty difficult to see, but these are set up in a very specific order. So one goes rods, plastic, and then gears, um, and then one goes gears, rods, and then plastic, and then one goes plastic, gears, and rods. I had an idea that it may help with this not stacking up, having like one, uh, one segment take a different thing at each point but I don't think it's helped at all anyway <laughs> they each go off into a conveyor belt section uh, into a conveyor belt maker uh, the metal processing machine and the good thing about setting it up like this uh, with these numbers as well so uh, this one needs five rods ten plastic and ten gears and I've set that up here so it's gonna take five rods ten plastic and then 10 gears and it won't 
uh, it won't make the machine back up because if you send uh, two lots of five rods like like in a row it will literally back up and nothing else will be able to go into the machine so they all come out here they get combined on this shelf again pretty difficult to see but I was running out of so much space uh, this one actually comes under here goes under oh no it goes over that uh, and then it goes onto that shelf there and then these all get combined into the one conveyor belt uh, get taken around the back uh, they go all the way around here underneath there all the way around here again over there uh, that's just a little walkway section and then onto the storage area uh, and that is that absolute monstrosity of a machine so um there we go guys that is it thank you so much for watching i really hope these tips uh helped you out let me know in the comments any uh, any tips you come up with and also um how you're finding the new update i think is absolutely brilliant uh, so yeah thanks for watching guys if you did enjoy the video or it helped you out please press the like button as it really does help me out and if you do enjoy city building simulation and management games be sure to subscribe if uh well any questions suggestions or comments leave them in the comment section below i've said that so many times in this video i'm sorry <laughs> but as always stay safe have fun and i'll see you on the next one